Yes, ma'am. What do you say to the moderates in your party who say you continue to side and appease the right wing on many issues, including such as what? On talking about an impeachment inquiry of President Biden, on appropriations, on a long list of things. Well, I, I don't know because you haven't quoted anybody. You just say something. You say you frame some some brand of something. But let me let me answer your question. It's very forceful and truthful in this. I have nothing to do about who the party. This is about America. And I raise to you. I've watched you on TV. You, you, you write every day about covering government. So right now you have a president who told you and every other American that he's never talked to as a family about business and they never got one dollar from China. You now know that's not true. You have a president while he was vice president that got 16 out of 17 payments from Romania while he was president. You now had never known that before he was elected, but you now have a document that the FBI had that didn't further investigate, even though the Justice Department said there was merit, that said they were bribed and told they had to run through shell companies, which you never knew about, but now you know there are shell companies. And what they, put, what they made this claim to be, you find that the form of which to pay in is actually what came through. You now have IRS whistleblowers who are not Republican, philosophically, who now say they were denied the ability to do their job. And in trying to do their job in the investigation of the Biden family, they were denied the 1023, even in meetings where David Weiss has said one thing to them and different to the American public, different than the attorney general had promised the American public. He said that they should be prosecuted. But now we have found out that the department actually called the Biden family attorneys, told them ahead of time where documents were, treated other people in politics differently, even went to the inaugural committee. Why would they give a heads up to the inaugural committee? Why would they be denied the ability to go forward? They believe the investigation was hampered using political purposes to treat them differently. Now, as an elected official, having all this information, should I ignore it? No. Congress has a responsibility for an investigation wing. All I'm saying is, and I'm sure you'd probably ask the same question, where's the truth? You've got to get to the bottom of the truth. And the only way Congress can do that is go to impeachment inquiry that gives Republicans and Democrats the ability to get all the information.